neurologist and what's the update sir? Uh, the update is we got stage three kidney disease currently. We're gonna need to put a a uh, line into my kidney area. So that's how I'll pee from now on. We'll have a little bag. Uh, probably temporary, it's gonna be temporary because the problem is, is the cancer, the tumors are pressing on stuff. So my kidneys aren't working properly. And once we knock down that cancer, we'll get that, that resolved. And we've been through some kidney issues before and resolve them, so we'll do it again. And we're just gonna uh, trust, the, trust the plan that we've got, trust the process, and most importantly, trust Jesus Christ, the one true living God. And Amen. that's what we believe. And that's what's worked for me in the past. Just continue in praise, praise God for these opportunities and for what's next. I'm excited for what's ahead. I'm, you know, um, we just, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge trying to figure out how we're gonna afford this stuff ahead, but you know, God always provides and um, let's see. We, uh, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get through this. We'll come out stronger than before. Probably been been doing a lot of stuff for a while with this kidney problem and some tumors that have been growing. So it'll be nice to get it taken care of. We'll knock this out first, and we're just praying we get into that trial because right now that's our that's currently our only option according to my doctor. And if we don't get into that trial soon, um, time time may be real restricted here uh, at any moment anybody could go we're all terminal so I'm just gonna keep plugging them on keep punching doc both doctors said that I can I might even I'd probably be able to run with this bag and you know I got a lot of pain going on kind of rises and falls sometimes I'm trying to get rid of this cough got this pneumonia cough we're working on getting rid of little by little got, got another infection in the pelvis area Got a lot of pain under this this pesky underarm left side. My that's where my dad had melanoma. They cut it out when he was early twenties successfully, and this was also where I had a lot of problems before my first bone marrow transplant. It took us about eight months to clear it so we could qualify for the transplant. So it's uh, it was used to walk. I've been walking around. Used to, I'm used to walking around with ice here. Been doing my cold plunges. Got a lot of pain in here. The most pain is like right in the pelvis area. Got some pretty big tumors that you can see. We got tumors pressing in the kidney area. We got some in the chest and on the lungs. Uh, but whatever whatever challenges we face, we have opportunities there. We have opportunities to become more of an expert in battling that opportunity. Got this tough opponent ahead. Uh, opportunity to to uh, fight harder, enjoy the process, grow closer together. You know, there's always rough moments in every day, whatever battle you're facing, you got, you get some rough moments and that's why you gotta ride those good moments extra hard and celebrate, get down, have a good time. And that's, that's all I got today, I guess. I'm so grateful for my wife who's holding the phone right now. She's, I couldn't ask for a better, partner and caretaker who's done so much, loving me so much, is always so caring and, and always there. I'm grateful for for where she works, just some awesome people. Um, grateful for our community, TWBJJ and our, our uh, Christian community and all of our family and friends and my parents. My parents are with the boys right now. Got fortunate over the last 10 years, definitely grew a lot closer with them. And parents and I both grew, grew a lot as well and got the best, we got the best parents, right babe? Best parents in the world. Yep. <laughs> Grateful for that, I got the two kitties at home and three boys are some cool dudes, man. We're gonna have some fun times ahead. China, one of the challenges is gonna be going to, to Houston for extended time. I don't know how long yet. Uh, might be around a month or two, something like that. Um, so that's where we're going to probably need some support ahead but we'll work on it and it's always good to have a plan in place and just keep you know sometimes you make a mistake or something and you might have to adjust the plan but keep fine-tuning that plan keep working it keep working that plan if you got a plan in place you just work it you just get to work that's what this is this is a job it's a you know a job that i got and uh i don't ask
that's why it's just my job and I do my best to, to do my best, says in the Bible, work your job as if you're working for God. So I try to do that. I've not always been the best worker, so I'm a little lazy. So, <laughs> so we're gonna just try to keep working super, super hard and uh, become a better worker, right? Amen. Well, love to all of you, hugs. It's gonna be the best day ever. Got this mask on. I think I'm gonna get my vaccination. What the heck? Why not, right? <laughs> Go get a vaccination. I think it's all right. You'll be okay. Better than. Better than not, maybe, you know? So, get a smile, keep flexing and smiling, right? Yeah. Awesome.